Hi guys, it's Leaky and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leaky, and I review a lot of Activerse, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I have a little Buff Bunny haul, and it's like a mixture of things I bought a few months ago um, and never reviewed, and like a mixture of things I got recently when they had like a big sale going on as well. So we have a good few items. I think most of them are still available on the website. Uh, back to full price for some of them, not for all of them. Uh, I think at least <laughs> and yeah so we have a whole assortment of things sports bras tops and leggings so definitely a lot of leggings also today there's gonna be a lot of squat tests for me to do uh, but that is okay and I want to start with um, you know the sports bras that's what I usually do uh, just for your information I do like buff bunny pieces a lot usually um, there's only be a few that there was, has only been a few so far where I was like eh and sometimes I also have issues with the quality that I get a lot of pilling like after just a few wears and usually the customer service is pretty good about it so yeah um I do wear a size small up top in general and a size I'm in between size small and medium at the bottom but usually most of the lengths I do get in a size small uh, just for your information there if you're interested in any other buff bunny pieces that I'm not reviewing right here I'm gonna link my buff bunny playlist up there you can find all the different collections all the different sale hauls I did basically you can find all of that there um, and you know there's videos for hours <laughs> so if you're interested there you go Um, I want to start with the Bloom sports bra so I did review this one before already because I got it in a few different colors and this is the color secret garden dark teal that I got recently Um, still available in a few sizes and also this type like the sports bra is available in a ton of different colors so you can, you, if you like the style but not the color, you could go check that out. Um, this one is a bit of a long line sports bra. So we have a piece of fabric down here. It's not an elastic. Um, remove a cup hat, some ruching here in the front. And then you do have this cute little more sweetheart neckline, thicker straps in the front, good side boot coverage. And then this cute little, you know, simple but also kind of strappy back. Um, this is made from their Nuber fabric, which is kind of their most used fabric I would say it is slightly brushed and very very soft very body hugging as well I did get this one in a size small I've also tried it in an extra small before and if you're in between sizes I would for sure recommend a size down for this one um but yeah the secret garden dark tail is a really really pretty color maybe not the best for summer right now but it's definitely gonna be like a go-to for me um when it gets like a little bit more dark outside a little bit colder um for me like Sometimes my color preferences are very seasonal, so I definitely know that I reach for the like more bright colors more in summer and spring. Um, but that's also okay. But yeah, let's see this little thing on. Okay, here we have that pretty little Bloom sports bra and Secret Garden Dark Teal, definitely a dark teal color. And you can see it's quite good coverage. It's long lined as well, so not a lot of like skin left between high waist pair of leggings and the sports bra, your flap of fabric here. Seen some people also, you know, just fold that fabric over in case you're more of a short line sports bra person, you want to show off more torso. We have a little sweetheart neckline, then you have that ruching that's a little elastic and you have really good side boob coverage, thicker straps here in the front and then in the back. Just very, very simple, still showing off some muscles, you know, some back muscles. And you have those two little straps here on either side for that little, like, easy Y racer back, basically. And the logo in the back as well. But yeah, it's definitely long lined, super soft, super comfy. I'm feeling very tucked in support wise. I would say it's a solid medium support, maybe even high for my smaller chest. And these, I think the sports bra is also a favorite of bigger chested people. So, cause you have that coverage here. Yes, you get a little bit of cleavage here, but it's not too much and you are tugged in. Of course, you know, this is um, like, I will say like, this is not the most like loose fitting Buff Bunny sports bra. So I would consider, I don't know, sizing up or down for, I would say probably size up if you're in between. Um, but I think it's, you know, it's a very cute one. It's definitely also a functional one while still being cute and definitely giving you a lot of coverage. And we have that Nuber fabric that's really, really nice and soft and it just hugs your body and just, you know, makes you feel good. And it's a cute color. I'm really looking forward to, you know, wearing this, this type of color again closer to towards fall and winter. So it's not, it's not something I reach for now. 
but I know that teal like usually matches also with a lot of other colors, which is really, really good. And I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. So, but it's cute. All right, next up I have this little solar sports bra in the Island Paradise print. This one I couldn't find on their website anymore. I've had this for a bit. Um, but, you know, there's always a chance they bring this print back because this they already brought back. This was the second installment. You can also usually find those things on resale websites. And um, the solar sports bra also has been around for a little bit. Um, it is a very simple sports bra. Not my favorite, to be fair, but I like this print, so... There was only this sports bra in the print. And the Solar Sports Bra, it has like a lower scoop neck. We have removable cup pads. It is a little bit shorter than some of their other sports bras, and but still doesn't have an elastic underneath. So this is really, again, just a piece of fabric. We do have thicker straps and in the back, you just have like your very simple uh, racer back sports bra. Racer back, racer back. You just have a very, very simple racer back, exactly. Again, this is the Nuber fabric, so it is. Um, soft and brushed but if I compare this fabric feel with the bloom sports bra we just saw the bloom sports bra definitely feels a little softer so sometimes you can get like a difference in how the fabric feels compared uh, if you compare prints with solid colors so there's definitely like sometimes a bit of a, of a difference um, but yeah otherwise I like this print a lot I kind of thought it was really really cute and was always hoping they'd bring it back because I saw pictures of this from like years ago when I wasn't shopping buff bunny yet and then they brought it back last year and I got it uh, on sale as well um I just like you know it has like just the different colors in there some some like red orange some like minty kind of turquoise mint thing actually matches my nail polish and um, I don't know, I just thought it was very cute. Let's see it on. All right, here we have the little solar sports bra again, a long line sports bra. This is what they usually do. We do have a low scoop neck here. So you, there's definitely some potential for cleavage depending on your chest size. A piece of fabric again, removable cup hats, thicker straps. You also do get good side boob coverage here. Um, and you know, I mean, it's, it's a very basic cut, I would say but it's not like bad or anything, just very basic, like nothing too special. And the bag is the same, so we just have like your little racer bag situation there. And I mean, it's comfortable um, support-wise, it is a medium support for me, and there's nothing to complain about. It's just like, I prefer strappy sports bras because I just think they look cute. This one is just like basic, but it has the fun print, you know? So it's it's got that for it. And you can, again, see there's a ton of different colors in here, some mint green, um, some like kind of like orange pink kind of situation, a little bit of darker colors as well. And it will just match nicely also if you wear other, you know, colored bottoms, if you don't want to do print on print. But yeah, very cute. And again, it's the Nuber fabric, so it's nice and soft and comfortable, like fits well in all the places. This is a size small again. And um, yeah. Nothing else to say. All right, next up, I have one more sports bra. This is the Flower Power Sports Bra in Onyx Black. This one is still available in a few colors and a few sizes. And the special thing about this is it's jacquard fabric and you have this like, the flowers kind of stitched in there. I do have this already in tuxedo blue I think and in bubblegum pink and I just like the sports bra a lot it is high neck it has really good coverage which personally for me doesn't matter too much because I have a small chest but I think it's just very flattering um we do have removal cup hats here again it's a bit more long line so you have a little piece of fabric underneath again very 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 stretchy the material feels amazing I just like this like raised uh fabric or like the, the kind of the structure of the fabric and um, we do have a Buff Bunny metal logo on here on the side. And then we do have a very, very strappy bag, as you can see here. And then the ring is kind of in a flower shape, so it matches perfectly. And this one actually does have a bra clasp in the back, so you can adjust um, the tightness under your chest. I'm personally usually not a big fan of that um, because I actually can't tie it behind my back, you know. But I didn't find it too annoying on this one, and I usually just clasp it before I put it on. That usually works. And you also do get an extender. This is now in this bubble pink color. So 
so you can kind of, you know, adjust if you need to have a bit more width there. So I would say with this one, if you have a smaller chest, you for sure should size down. Because if you need like a little bit more under bust, you can just put the extender in there and you're good. So this one I did get in a size extra small and I also have the other ones like this in an extra small. And this works fine for me with my small chest. Um, I don't need the extender, I can also actually wear it without the extender and it still fits fine. So I would say, you know, because the material is so stretchy, you can size it down. Um, maybe even in general, but I guess of course for a bigger chest, you might want to have more space. Uh, yeah, but this way you also get a little bit more adjustability. You don't have to size for your boobs necessarily. You can size for your under bust and that's actually quite nice. Yeah, let's see it on. All right, full on black outfits is usually not my style, but you know, and it works. It's all good. <laughs> and here we have that sports bra. So you have a good coverage on the side. It is again long line. So a piece of fabric here, removable cup pads, also quite high neck. So yeah, really good coverage. And then in the bag, it's super cute and strappy. We have that little bra clasp situation here. And as I mentioned before, I'm usually not that good at like doing that behind my back. So I actually just clasp it up before I put it on. And when I take it off, I might just, you know, open it to make the taking off easier. But otherwise it also works like that. And then we have this cute little uh, flower shaped ring here in the bag. The fabric is super, super comfortable because it is this niche of heart card fabric. Support wise, I would say it's a solid medium to high support for me even though the fabric is nice and stretchy and yeah, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see it, but <laughs> we have the structure on it. Feels really nice metal buff bunny logo here as well. And overall, I just like this uh, style of sports bra as well. Cause I, you know, like it covers you up. You can do whatever you want with it. And it's still very comfy and I just like it. All right, next up I have the Cairo Crop. This is from their Secrets in the Sand collection. And I had it in black there and I liked it a lot. It's still available in the snake prints that they had uh, that also came out in that collection. It's just like a super cute little mesh top. I did get this one in, I'm wondering if I got this in a size medium or size small. Size medium, yes. Because I think the sleeves were a little tighter, not as stretchy, although it feels quite stretchy. But yeah, I mean, I have, sometimes I have issues with like sizing around my, bicep shoulders back area there so medium is fine with that and it's kind of like a boat neck very very see-through it's very thin mesh but also very fine mesh quite nice and you can use that for lifestyle but you can of course also throw it on a sports bra and go to the gym um yeah i do have the black one the white one i think also will look good for like some colors so that's kind of why i wanted it i was also on sale and i think the uh, snake print let me check is also on sale so they have like two different snake print colors there's a gray and there's a green so if you're more of a snake print friend friend or fan you should go check those out because i already know from the black one that i liked it a lot that's why i got it also in white a little while ago and let's see it on all right now i'm wearing this little cairo crop top and um, it's definitely like really really fine mesh and of course it's see-through so you can show off your sports bra add a little layer very light layer of course nice white neck i think that's actually quite cute and the sleeves are also long enough they're stretchy enough so there's definitely a tiny bit of extra space but i'm very happy with the medium for my arms and you know for for the fit here so i would suggest if you want to try that one out um do size up if you have side tightness around here sometimes and I mean, it's not overly loose at all or anything. It's a tad longer than this long line sports bra that I'm wearing underneath now. Still does not hit the top of the waistband here, but it nearly does. So it definitely gives you a little bit more coverage without giving you real coverage, right? Because it is very like thin and not super, like it's, it's not, I like it is see-through. It is not a solid fabric or anything. But it is a nice lightweight layer. It is definitely a little bit warmer than if you don't wear it. So yeah, and I think you can wear this, like I said, as a lifestyle piece as well. Just works as nicely and is cute. All right, now onto leggings. We do have quite a few. 
um, just three different styles, but like I got a lot of colors in some of them. <laughs> um, because like I said, I bought stuff on sale, you know, some of them a while ago. Um, but if they're on sale, then it's like, okay, I like this color anyway, so I'm just gonna get it. And uh, that's, that's how I do this, you know. <laughs> so I want to start with the flower power leggings. So remember that black sports bra I showed you. There was also matching leggings with that uh, kind of flowery like texture. So again, this is hard fabric, super nice and soft, a little bit thicker, a little bit heavier. I do have the blue leggings already and I like them a lot. I did go th get those in size medium. So I also went with size medium for the bubblegum pink ones. But I also sometimes noticed that I had to pull those up quite a lot. So I also did get a size small in the black ones. So we have two different sizes, two different colors. And I generally love the jacquard fabric that Buff Bunny Collection does. Um, I don't know, I just I just like it. It feels really good, very stretchy, very like low compression. Um, no front seam on these ones here, high waist. And then you do have two side pockets. And in the back, it's not like the signature, like deep V glued seam. It's more of like this, like round rainbow-esque seam here. And what they did with this one as well, so you have a seam that's kind of cutting across the back of your thighs here because it did double line this butt area. I'm not sure if they did it in black too, but I assume so. Yeah. So the back area is double lined, so it's a bit more squat proof because apparently um, they brought this out in quite a lot of lighter colors. And the card fabric itself is like already like not super squat proof so I guess lighter colors were just like a no-no without that but you can kind of see there's an extra layer in here of like soft fabric but that makes it a little bit more compressive and specifically that area so I'm a little scared to try this small but like I said I wanted to do that because I felt that I had to pull up the medium quite a lot um still wanted to the pink one in the medium though just to be sure you know I'm usually not a pink person but I don't know this bubblegum pink was just like screaming my name at some point so yeah, again, these are very heavy, so they're definitely like much heavier than your, your typical buff bunny leggings and a little bit thicker. So maybe also not the best summer leggings, especially with like, like double line fabric here in the back, but they are quite soft and quite comfy and they are made from 85% nylon and 15% spandex. And I just adore that, you know, that texture that it has. I think it's super cute, very unique. So yeah, kind of had to get it and of course, with the black one, it's not as obvious because, you know, it's black. Harder to see. But let's see these on. All right, onto these flower power leggings now in black. So this is the size small, fits actually quite nice. I can get it on without a problem. Like, yes, there's a little bit more tightness around this area where it is double lined, but this is also gonna loosen up a bit after a few wears, I think. And then I know you can't see it right now because it's black and it's also quite low down, but there's this one seam that kind of cuts across the thighs there. And I do not feel it cutting in either. That was my biggest worry. We have um, no front seam here, no top seam. I still don't get like a ton of compression up top here, but it is a little bit more than in the medium, but I will also try on the bubblegum medium for you in a second. And then we have those deep pockets. Um, my phone does fit, I would think. There we go. And there's a lot more like space. It's a very deep pocket. So yeah, you can fit a lot of stuff in there for sure. And then you have that rainbow seam in the back again. I don't know if you can see it with the black here, but it is there. And um, overall, these are quite comfy. Of course, they are a little bit thicker, so I would definitely not wear them when it's super hot outside just because of the thickness. And um, you know, there's just better options if it's really, really warm. And lengthwise, these are also more of a seven eight length on me, like most Buff Bunny leggings are. So no complaints, they're either a nice high waist too. And like I said, maybe not a top, ton of compression up top, but it is, you know, quite comfy, fits okay, and uh, yeah. All right, here we have the bubblegum pink flower power leggings down the size medium. They get on, like I can get them on a little bit easier, but there's definitely a lot more space around the waist now. And um, I mean, I know it works. It's just like they're going to slide down a little bit more easily on me. But now you can see the details a little bit better. Again, no front seam. Um, and I also don't have any camel toe issues. And you can see the flower structure on the fabric here. So it's really, really cute. I think it's super unique, really nice. And then the rainbow seam around here in the, in the back. 
And even though this is a lighter color, they should be pretty squat proof now because of the double layering. Of course, I will squat test them so we can be 100% sure about that. Lengthwise, again, seven, eight lengths, so the length doesn't really change with the size either. And again, we have those two deep side pockets. But we already know what the phone fits, right? <laughs> but yeah, it's such a fun color. I think it's super stunning. Works nicely with the black, but it's also gonna look really cute with the matching sportswear, which I do have. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just the same, this one, but like in this color, right? Uh, but I think it's like super cute. I like it a lot. I'm really happy I snacked these um, when they were on sale and they were still available my size. So all is good and they're so comfy. Again, very thick, so definitely not for like when super hot, but they're very, very comfortable, like so comfortable. Um, and you can absolutely wear these for a workout. Like, don't be shy about it. But because, I mean, yes, you're going to sweat a little bit, but you know, that's fine. They're just very, very cute, super unique. And I like I like the structure. All right, next up we have the Rosa leggings. They are a fan favorite, a customer favorite, I should say. And I got these in the beige gold bossy, so we'll see how that looks on my pale body. Although I'm not that pale, because, you know, I've been, I've been getting a lot of tan from, for me, compared, like, compared to, you know, how, how white I usually am. Um, so, um, but yeah, we'll see how that looks on a paler um, skin tone. Uh, I do have these already in, like, but like with this gold situation, um, already in like the teal color and a kind of like reddish color as well that they brought out in the Secrets in the Sand collection. This beige gold boss is still available in quite a few sizes and it's still on sale. And I think they also still have that um, olive color with the gold on top, which also actually looks pretty nice. But yeah, this is the Rosa legging. It's a very simple legging, high-waisted. Again, the Nuper fabric, but now this, like the surface feels a little different due to that gold situation. We have no front seam on these, no top seam either. And then in the back, you just have a simple V glute seam here. No side seams whatsoever. They're still quite stretchy, even though we have that like bossy print and this gold um, on top. And I still got these in a size small. Yes, I did. Exactly. And um, let's see it on. All right, these are maybe a bold color choice for my skin tone, but I think, you know, I mean, I'm usually a fan of colors, but sometimes nudes can also be good. Um, so these are the high-waisted, um, I mean, they're not the high-waisted rosa legs, but the rosa legs, they're very high-waisted, very simple, no front seam, um, no top seam here. And then we just have that simple V glute detailing in the back and then no side seams, no nothing. Seven eighth length again. And 
These are also Nubra fabric, but they do have that shiny bossy print on top. So it doesn't feel as soft as your normal Nubra fabric. They are also a tad higher than my waist. <laughs> my belly button is down there. Um, but they are, you know, comfy and I feel like tugged in. There's not as much compression in the waistband as there is for the legacy leggings, for example. So I feel like even in the small, there's like the tiniest bit of gaping that I get here. But you know, it is what it is. Um, I like the shininess of them, so that's all good. And this is um, kind of like a beige new tone. Definitely maybe, you know, I don't know. Closer to my skin tone, but it's not my skin tone. <laughs> so I should be okay, I hope. Um, yeah, I don't know, you can let me know what you think. Um, I also do have these in like the like a teal color as the base and a reddish color as the base and it looks stunning and that reddish color also works really nicely with this nude beige tone but also the nude beige tone obviously works well with like black for example I don't know but yeah let me know what you think if this is the right color for me but I think it's a great basic and I like that it's, it's like shiny so what can I do? All right, on to the last um, type of leggings. I shouldn't say the last pair because I didn't get this in just one print or two prints. Now we go into colors, another color, um, this color and this color. So of course these are the legacy leggings, my favorite Buff Bunny leggings of all time basically. And when they're on sale and there's colors I didn't get but I had been considering during the initial launch and they're still available in my size small then you know what can I do so we do have the teal check which is still available I think in a size medium I do have the size small here we do from that's from the off the grid collection by the way we do have the island print again to match that sports bar that we saw earlier I have h2o blue here really really stunning bright blue works well with pinks as well you know as with yellows and a lot of other colors and then I have Charged, that's the like yellow color, first yellow buff bunny leggings that I have. So I'm curious to try these, I don't expect these to be very squat proof. And then we do have Baked Blue, which I really really like, this was from the, um, what was it called? The cake collection, exactly. And the, the Baked Blue was just like really pretty. So, and this one is also a good basic color actually, because it matches with a lot of different things again, and it's not too in your face. So I actually did wear this a few times now already. And I just saw that there's a lot of pilling in the butt area. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's definitely more pilling than there should be for a few wears. Because I've only gotten this like last month basically. And yeah, just very pilly. I have complained already. If they've gotten back to me um, by the time this video comes out, I can, you know, update you on the screen and tell you what happened. Usually they give you the money back, especially if this happens so soon after you purchase. And sometimes, unfortunately, this happens with the Nubra fabric leggings. So again, this is the Nubra fabric, the super soft fabric. And yeah, I don't know, different collections, like in different collections, the legacy leggings sometimes fit slightly different. They're sometimes more stretchy. They're sometimes a little bit less stretchy, more lightweight, less lightweight. Um, they sometimes are more prone to pulling. It's, it's really like different and it depends on the collection itself. So if I compare this with some other legacy leggings I have, this is way more pulling than I have on some leggings I've had for, for years. 
but like especially in the last year I've realized oh this leggings are pulling these are pulling so there's been a few incidences of that which is unfortunate because I do like these a lot and I mean I will continue to wear them it's just they're not the cheapest leggings so I do expect them to last longer than a handful of wears and I think you agree with me um, and like I said, fortunately, usually they're quite willing to resolve those issues, refund or replace the items. And you can always complain if you notice something like that. I also do that if I notice it like half a year later, because again, they're not cheap. If I pay 70 bucks for a pair of leggings, plus the import fees I usually have to pay, um, which by the way, I didn't have to pay this time because I shipped the stuff to Canada. Uh, like, but like, it's just... I don't know, I just expect them to be to be better than that, you know? I expect them to last longer and to not pill as fast. But anyway, I do like the Legacy Legs a lot, um, as you can see. <laughs> so why I do like them is because we do have a high waist we ha and we have this triple seam glute detailing here in the bag, which really helps to, you know, accentuate the glutes. It's very flattering, but it also helps me specifically like keeping the leggings up making sure they're not falling down making sure they're like you know i'm just nice and snatched in the waist and um, we also don't have a front seam and then we do have a side seam detailing on these so they're definitely a little bit more detailed than the rosa leggings oh sorry see now i'm trying to show you the side seam but then in the off the grid collection they actually didn't have a side seam at least the pattern ones okay bad example um, I was very confused about that um, in, in the Off The Grid collection <laughs> video. I'm just going to link that up there um, because the side seam is usually always there. So these are newer. They also still have the side seam or again, I don't know. But yeah, we do have a side seam here and then the side seam splits up here. I hope you can see it. So this is around your knee height basically where it splits up. And yeah, otherwise super cute triple seam glue detailing side seam, a bit more detailing than the rosary leggings and comes in so many different colors like so many this is just a, a, a small selection if you really want to see how many leggings this comes in um or how many colors this comes in you can you know check out my closet organization video which i'm gonna link up here or just the website <laughs> um anyway let's see these on all right on to these uh leggings here so these are the legacy leggings without the side seam. I haven't seen that since the Off The Grid collection. I also hadn't seen that before the Off The Grid collection. So I don't know why they've been doing that. The other leggings, the, um, the Island Print, similar, the Island Print Legacy leggings do have a side seam. So it is really a little weird. Um, I'm just used to having the seam here, you know, that splits up there. Uh, but otherwise we have the same situation here, high waist, quite high waist, and maybe a little bit higher than my natural waist even. No front seam, I don't have any camel toe issues with these. And then in the back you have that really, really pretty flattering uh, triple seam glute detailing here. So for me that also helps me, you know, not just to get like um, some flattering shape for the glutes, but also to like really make these stay up a little bit better at the waist. And I will also say that the Legacy Leggings from Off The Grid, so this one, for example, do fit a little bit more stretchy and are not as compressive and are a little bit thinner maybe even than the other legacy leggings or like in general, legacy leggings are a little bit more thick than what these were. So I don't know like if that was just like one collection or if this is going to happen, you know, that there's like changes throughout. Um, so yeah, but just so you're aware. And yeah, we don't have the side seam. They're 7 8 length on me. And these are also, by the way, printed on the lightest color you can see here. So this lighter blue. Let me see if I can show you there. So it's printed on that. And of course, I mean, it's going to pull a little lighter, but it's at least not white underneath. And the pattern also, I feel like, is kind of forgiving with that. Um, and I think it's cute. I'm really looking forward to wearing this more, you know, when it gets a little bit colder. So... It's not really a summer vibe, but it's still cute. All right, so now we have the Legacy Leggings in the charged color. So very, very light yellow, bright yellow as well. And I just want to say these are definitely 100% not squat proof. I have a little mole on my butt cheek and I can see that through so easily. I'm not sure if you can see it, but like in the mirror, it was very clear. It's around here somewhere um, that you could see it through. So yeah not squat proof at all just wanted to point that out before you see the squat test and you're like <gasps> um so yeah the lighter colors of these 
because I'm, I'm, you know, I mean, this doesn't even work with nude underwear, apparently, <laughs> unless you wear like full coverage nude underwear, maybe then it would work. So like a full like boy short kind of situation. I think maybe then that's okay. But like, otherwise these are like, you know, just, just be careful. <laughs> All right, and here we have the Legacy Leggings in H2O Blue. This is uh, a normal Legacy Legging, if I compare this with like some other ones that I've tried, because there's sometimes a little bit of variation, as I said. But this is a, a standard one. <laughs> so we have no front seam here. Also don't get any camel toe with these. No top seam, they are quite high-waisted. I do have a longer torso, so they might be a little too high for some people, but you can always just like flip them over a little bit. My belly button is down there. And then in the back, we have that really, really flattering fun triple seam glue detailing that I like a lot and I think is super, super flattering. And then on the side, you have your side seam here and then the side seam, seam splits up here and just goes down all the way and seven eighth length here as well. Um, I find the Nuber fabric here like super nice body hugging, like I am nicely tucked in without being too squeezed. And I just like how it feels, you know, and I do like this triple seam glue detailing. I think it's really, really fun. I don't know what else to say. They are my favorite Buff Bunny leggings and I've reviewed them so many times already. And there's so many different colors and prints and you should go try them.
All right, it's conclusion time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little Buff Bunny sale haul. I know this was like a few random pieces and I hope it was still interesting for you to see, you know, some of the pieces. And, you know, maybe you can, you can check out the website and see that some of the stuff is still on sale and you can snatch it if you liked it. Um, I usually, you know, I'll review Buff Bunny or most of the times I review them as I review their newest collection drop. But like I mentioned, sometimes, like, I mean, I have my favorite pieces that I focus on. That I'm like, okay, I'm going to get all these pieces. There's still a few pieces that I'm like, yeah, maybe. But in the end, you can only buy so much, right? And then if there's stuff on sale and still available, then I go for it. And then, you know, I have these small little sale hauls. Um, so yeah, like I said, I hope this was informative for you. I hope you liked it. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it your thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, you can subscribe to my channel so you can get notified about all the new videos that are coming out. And um, if you have any feedback, any suggestions for new brands as well, for example, or for, you know, what I could improve, any comments, whatever, just leave it down in the comment box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can also follow me on Instagram, see some of the pieces in action there and DM me there, but be aware, be aware, I'm <laughs> way more likely to see your comments here on YouTube. So if there's anything you really want me to see, just drop it down below and I'll get back to you. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope, you know, you enjoyed this video. I know I said that already, but I really hope you do because so many squat tests again, oof. And then summer, that's like never easy. It's very sweaty, okay? <laughs> um, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.